Welcome to Whispering Word. Well, good morning and welcome to Whispering Words, frugal scrapings and observations on this morning news for, um, what would it be, be Saturday the 1st of January 2011, a very, very happy new year to everybody that's listening this morning. London's calling, and so I want to wish you a protected, provided for and presenced New Year. I think the truth is I'm feeling like a bit of an old fart this morning, mostly because I was in bed by 11.30pm last night and snoring shortly after that. You know, my writing schedule doesn't allow me too much time up late, and I'm afraid even on New Year's Eve, I need to get my head down. Still, really, I should have stayed up, I think. Having watched the London New Year's firework display set to music this morning on YouTube, I thought it was just spectacular. What a great job. Well done, London. At around the £2 million mark, however, and that's in my estimation, uh, when you look at the cost of the uh, Lord Mayor's annual fireworks pyrotechnics show, toilets and crowd control, I don't think it's unreasonable to say that maybe last night was about £2 million worth at least. I'd just like to say thank you for the uh, uh, people of the City of London for coughing up all of the dosh for such a spectacular spectacular display, especially in this year of austerity. Uh, Meanwhile, I note in the news as well, in the background of the fireworks, that uh, Hungary takes over the presidency of the Economic Union. It seems that folks are a little bit concerned, especially as as of today, there's a government-appointed media authority in Hungary that will have the power to fine broadcasters nearly one million uh, dollars. That's 750,000 euros. Uh, and websites and newspapers, they can be fined as well, more than $100,000. If, get this now, if their political coverage is deemed unbalanced or immoral. Isn't that astonishing? In other words, it means don't you dare say anything against the government or our policies, else we'll slap you down with so many fines it will close your mouth forever. That's what I like, good European democracy there. Well, despite all this, it would appear that already the Hungarian foreign minister has come up with an idea for 2014. They want 2014 to be deemed the year of the family. Why is that? Well, as the whole of Europe continues to kill its babies, promote single selfishness, extend the age that people are actually getting together to produce offspring, well, Europe simply won't have enough younger people uh, to bring in the taxes to support its massively ageing and needy population. You know what? The demographic time bomb is going off right now. Oh, it's not going off with a great kaboom in a few seconds. Demographic time bombs go off over a number of decades. But I want to tell you, listeners of Whispering Word, that the European Western world demographic time bomb is going off. Meanwhile, just who is having the kids to take over what is left of Western society? Think about that. Take a look round and you're going to see the culture that's overtaking Western society in the next 20, 30 years right on your doorstep. You know, I believe that the Lord is coming back in my lifetime. Uh, Should he allow me to live the next 30 years or so, that is. Even so, you know, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. I remember it well. It was June 19. No, I'm only joking. I'm, I'm wrong oftentimes, but especially in this. I mean, let's face it. Uh, For 2,000 years, folks have been saying this, and they've all been wrong. But looking at the signs of the times, it's my personal belief, that's all, that should he allow me to live the next 30 years or so, I believe I will see the Lord return in my lifetime. It's a great way to live in any event, isn't it? Expecting the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. But I suppose the big question is this. Okay, then, Robert, if that's the case, in light of this, you're talking about a demographic time bomb. In light of this, should we as Christians even bother having children? Well, of course you should. 
So, indeed, my, my focus message, well, why should we continue to having children? Well, I'll tell you why, as you're asking. First of all, the Lord has not commanded you not to. Oh, I think there's some, there's some kind of, uh, there's some kind of leeway if you want. When the Apostle Paul is is writing to the Corinthians about what he deemed uh, to call this present distress. In other words, you know, he he says if you if you if you can avoid getting married, if you can avoid having children, do so in light of this present distress. I think he was talking there about a famine that was going on in the land there. Uh, and that particular statement related to that time period, I suppose it's down to uh, personal judgment whether or not we say, well, in light of what I perceive to be the present distress, I'm not going to get married, I'm not going to have any children. That's a personal decision. It's not my decision. It's not my advice to you. Indeed, my advice, even at the end of days, and I believe we are, My advice for Christians and Christian men in particular is stop farting about, grow up, get a wife, get married and make babies and lots of them. It's a strong New Year's message, I know, but hey, who's going to take care of me when I'm older? (laughs) So may God grant you all a protected, provided for and presence New Year. In Jesus name I ask it. Amen. On a more personal note, we need much prayer at the moment as we're looking at the possibility of getting a slot on Premier Christian Radio. Now, we need to get the approval from them. First of all, we're in the final process of doing that. But if we do, uh, then we'll have a 12-minute slot at 5.45pm each Sunday night. And this gives us access to London, the UK and via uh, the internet to a total listening audience estimated at 500,000 folks. Now, of course, in the UK, we've only got two Christian radio stations, but in the USA, there are around 1,600 Christian radio outlets. So, of course, as we get programming in the UK, we then have programs to take to the USA and beyond. And we're going to need some more money to do this. So if you want to invest in Whispering Word, there's some contact details coming up right now. Do pray about this. Do pray for us in this. God bless you. You can contact us on 07975 805 323. That's 07975 805 323. Or email me directly vr at whisperingword.com or check us out online at www.whisperingword.com. Whispering Word, Frugal News is written in gonzo journalistic style. It's satirical, it's sarcastic, it's cynical, it's personal, it's provocative, it's poignant. It's there to poke you in your eye, poke you in the ribs to help you stop telling fibs about yourself and the world. 